what are you willing to live for and what are you willing to die for is the theme of the movie. Polycarp, Destroyer of Gods is a story centered around Polycarp and the struggle of Christians in the early church history and it follows through the perspective of a little girl named Anna. I think most audience members are going to experience the movie of Polycarp through the eyes of Anna and they're going to go on this journey with her and they're going to feel exactly what she's feeling and apply it to their lives in different ways. I think people are going to walk away from this film encouraged and I think they're going to walk away inspired by the characters and their faith. We're shooting in modern day Turkey, uh, AKA Ohio. And Ohio does not look anything like Turkey. By doing everything with green screen in areas where we would see something that doesn't look period, and then just literally building everything uh, from scratch, from ground up, putting the floor in, putting everything in, that's how we've managed to still sell the look. They've been pretty hush hush about everything online. So I didn't really know what was going on or what to expect when I got here on my first day. And, uh, I was just blown away. Like they created this villa, this cityscape, this judgment hall in such a small area. And the way they built it too, I mean, you could, pieces were movable and removable and replaceable. Especially because this is a period piece. I have to research every single area uh, to understand the way of living of these people at that time. So either architecture, the way of eating, uh, the customs, the way the house will run. Oh, I thought everything was amazing. Um, the level of detail that went into everything, the authenticity of the costumes and the props and everything, like I said, down to the amazing tasting food, you know? I found it all amazing and it, it made it so much easier to get into character. It really helped me and I think it's it's gonna make it that much more believable and enjoyable for the audience. Hi. Hi. Joe's strength is, um, again, that he's able to find those moments with you. He's so sensitive to who he's working with and how they work and just how to find those scenes. And he's got quite an eye for it. When I first read a script, the first thing I like to do is dig into the different uh, messages that each scene is trying to convey. And then I immediately start to visualize um, the look of some of the different characters and the different scenes and how it all comes together. All right, everybody, we're gonna go again here. Let's lock it up, please. Lock it up. The relationships that Joe and Jerrica have developed in their other filmmaking experience on other film sets has brought together a team of young people that are just phenomenal. The, the impressive thing when you see the activity and the work that's going on on set, uh, in the props, and uh, just the planning and preparation, it's the level of professionalism from a crew that probably has an average age of maybe 22 years old. And that is impressive to see the kind of passion and work ethic that they have, the dedication, the long hours. It's absolutely a labor of love. Hi, I'm Scott Aish, producer of Polycarp Destroyer of Gods. Creating a second century dramatic film is a major undertaking. Many hands have contributed long hours and lots of hard work over the last couple of years to bring Polycarp to this point. And now we're in the final stage called post-production. To make the film as good as possible, we need to hire an editor, a sound designer, visual effects artist, and a composer. If we don't succeed with this fundraising campaign, it will be much harder to make a quality film and make as great an impact. Your pledges, large or small, can have a significant impact. Not only will each donation bring us closer to our goal, but it will also show distributors that real people want to see this type of family-friendly, God-honoring movie. Please note that if we do not reach our fundraising goal by the deadline, all donations will be canceled. Kickstarter is all or nothing, so please do what you can to help, spread the word, and thank you so much. We could not do this without your prayers and support.